Okay, today uh, I'm gonna walk you through how I uh, change out a uh, adapter for a driver. So uh, we're gonna talk about the, the materials that you need first. Uh, obviously you need a shaft. Right here I have a shaft. You can see a tip was pulled. There's still some dried glue here that we need to clean up. So we start with a shaft. Next we're gonna talk about the epoxy. I have some quick set epoxy here from Golfworks. This dries pretty quick. You're able to hit the driver or club, you know, within about an hour or so to be safe. I also have a piece of cardboard as well as a stir stick. This is just a standard coffee stir stick. So when I put the epoxy on here, I'm able to mix it up here and get it ready for application. Also have a wire brush. Got this from Golfworks as well. So this is useful for taking any glue that was still remaining in your adapter. So you just put it in here, clean it out to make sure you get a good fit once you put the epoxy in there. Another piece here is just a ferrule. You see it's a little ferrule cap. Uh, this is more just cosmetic to make it look clean when it's on the shaft. And I also have a sandpaper here that'll help me get this dried glue off of this shaft here. Next, uh, you'll see a drill here. So I have a drill. Reason I have the drill is these ferrule caps sometimes are a little too tight to put on the shaft. So what I'll do is I'll take a drill bit that just fits in there and I'll go ahead and just uh, bore that out a little. That way it can slide right over the shaft when I uh, put it on the, on the shaft. And then lastly, I have some epoxy cleaning wipes. So as you uh, put the adapter on, sometimes you'll get a little glue that comes out. You want to have something to clean that up so it's not on the shaft, your hands, or the adapter. All right, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so we're ready to get started. Uh, first, we're going to grab our shaft here, get some of this glue off. So we're going to take this sanding pad, and we're just going to kind of brush around here. Get this nice and smooth so we get a good application with our adapter. You can see here, just got to be careful. Sometimes I'll put some blue tape around here. That way I don't scuff it up over here, but today we're not going to do that. So once you get this all cleaned up, we're going to check to see. Does our tip fit on there? Fits on there pretty good, right? Slides in there. So what we're missing now is uh, the ferrule cap. You can see here, doesn't look very clean if you don't put that ferrule cap on there. So uh, it's purely cosmetic to put this little piece on there, but it does add a nice little touch. Now, as I mentioned before, you can see this won't fit on here. It's just too tight. So that's why we have the drill over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the drill and uh, I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but this is how I do it. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of bore this out so it's a little bigger. Okay, so let's see if that uh, made a difference and grab the shaft. Go put this back on. You can see now it's starting to slide over a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and Make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to slide on and off. We should be ready to move on to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger. Okay. Should be good. The test fit here. Yep, looks good. So now we got a, a ferrule cap that fits on there, no problem. I'm going to put that on here like this. So now when we put the tip on here, you can see it's a nice clean look and slides on there. So you can see it's got a nice clean look. I'll seed this all the way down. That way uh, you won't see any of this glue right here. All right, next step. So next step, we need to mix up some epoxy. So this stuff sets pretty fast, this Golf Works quick set. So uh, you need to mix it and be prepared to apply it pretty quickly. So we're going to go ahead and just put a little dab here. It's a one-to-one -one mixture. So you'll see each tube should come out equally. So when I squeeze this here, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a small amount. Put the cap back on it so I don't dry that out. You can see here, there's the glue. Take my stir stick, I'm just gonna mix this up together. Don't need very much at all because we're just doing one club today. So I'm gonna mix this up. Be ready to go in just a second here. Okay, next, I'm gonna take a little dab, put it on my stir stick. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it in the tube. Make sure I just apply it all the way around, just like putting peanut butter on a sandwich. Throw it in there. Don't put too much, doesn't need a ton. And uh, tiny bit inside there, we're good to go. Next, I just put a little bit on the tip of this here, just so we get a good adherence to the adapter. So just a tiny bit on here, and then we should be good to go. There we go. So a little bit on the shaft, a little bit inside here, and you should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take this ferrule cap, I'm gonna set it on the shaft. Next, I'm gonna take the adapter, I'm gonna slide it over. Now you may wonder, how do I know what I want it set on, right? Well, on the grip, you can go ahead and line the standard. If you want this on standard, you go ahead and just twist this over to standard here and you line it up with the bottom of your grip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this here, I'm gonna put it on standard, standard loft. I'm gonna go ahead and line it up towards the bottom of my shaft. That way I have a nice clean shaft with no logo on it at all. Go ahead and put it on standard and we're pretty much ready. Next, I'm just gonna kind of push this down so I get a good seed of the adapter in there. Now I wanna make sure that I have no glue, so I'm going to take one of my epoxy wipes here. I'm going to go ahead and just clean it up around the edge. And you can see that excess glue is on the rag here. Go ahead and wipe the ferrule too, just in case a little bit got on there. And grab a rag, and we should be good to go. All right, clean this up. And we're pretty much done. So you can see, tip's on, it's clean. Ferrule cap is a good attachment to here as well and we're all set so simple as that that's how i put on adapters here in my garage